All right, a question we get a lot is revolvers. Because we spend most of our time training people that carry, I'm gonna look at a gun that's carried quite often, the Smith & Wesson J-Frame. This one's in 38 Special, very, very common. These have been around forever. Something you gotta keep in mind with a revolver, especially a little guy like this, is an extremely short sight radius. People do tend to think that these are inaccurate weapons, and they're not. We've got a video up on Instagram and YouTube where we're making headshots pretty quickly at uh, 10 yards. So these things will get the job done if you know what you're doing. All of the fundamentals of marksmanship that we've been teaching you in this video still stay the same. You need a good grip, you need a good smooth trigger press, and you're need to gonna, ha gonna need to have those sights aligned on target. The problem with these little guys is, is there's just so little to hold on to. So I'm not gonna be able to use that exact same grip as I showed you and saying showed you with the larger framed guns. So what you're gonna see is more of a balled up hand. I'm still having my hand up high. You need to be cautious with a wheel gun. This area here uh, around the front of the cylinder, the cone it's called, you get a lot of hot escaping gas in this area. If you have your hand, especially in larger caliber uh, revolvers like a 44, 45 Colt, things like that, you've got a ton of hot gas. It not only can cut you, it can damn near cut a finger off. The little 38's not as big a deal, but don't develop that habit. Keep your fingers away from this area. So you still need to be up high and tight. You still want to have that good firm grip. And you're going to need to apply a lot of that inward pressure where you're using your shoulders, your pecs, and your back muscles. These guns will get the job done as far as accuracy is concerned, but now with a 1 in 7 8 inch barrel, minutia as far as movements is concerned really can push this thing off target. Just the slightest deviation with that short barrel can move your your impact point inches, even at close distance. So you're really gonna have to pay attention to what's happening. How do you load these things? Let's take a look. We're not gonna get into a speed loader or anything like that today, only because we're working on the fundamentals. Most every revolver has a mechanism to release the cylinder. That's what this is called here where the cartridges are kept. Always minding the muzzle, open that cylinder up. This is a good way to hold it while loading it. Not only can I control it, but I can rotate the cylinder to load the ammo. How's that look? Looks good. Now from that position, as you pull your fingers out, gravity is going to help you halfway. You push that sucker home, and this gun is ready to go. This is a double action only. It's got a shrouded hammer, so all I get is that double action. You don't. My hands are gonna join up. We're gonna shoot the head. Notice where my hands are at. So now, to get rid of those, turn it over, give it a smack, clear it out. We can either reload, or we can close it up and do what we gotta do. I'm gonna load that up and try that one more time. As you can see, these guns will get the job done. That's about a five inch group at about five yards here on rubber dummy. And five rounds out of the 38, these are not uh, weakly loaded rounds. It smarts the hand a little bit. But if you've got that good grip, you can see the job will get done. Many times people own these guns and they don't fully understand marksmanship. So they take it out to the range and they can't hit the broad side of the barn and they just assume that these things are only meant for contact distance, where clearly that's not the point or the case. Hey, we totally appreciate that you guys have been watching us on the YouTube, the Instagram, the inner tube, wherever. We've got these awesome shirts. I've sent a bunch to followers. We've had a bunch of people buy them, which is super fantastic. We're honored that you guys would want to wear our brand. It makes us feel great. If you're out on the street and you see this logo, you know don't mess with that. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying?